Hey guys, it's Tech Stuff Yo. Uh, this video is going to go over how to install Jenny Motion, which is an Android emulator. Uh, we're primarily going to be focusing on how to install uh, Jenny Motion on Android Studio. Uh, future videos might come out where we show you how to install it for Eclipse. All right. So before we begin, make sure you uh, start up Android Studio, since it sometimes can take a little while to open, and open up whatever browser you prefer. So, you want to open up Jenny Motion. Uh, the links for this will be provided in the description box. Uh, before you do anything, you actually have to create an account so you can actually download Jenny Motion. So, if you click here, you can actually create an account. Since I already have an account, I'm not going to create one. Uh, if you don't want to use your real email address, um, I recommend you go to 10 Minute Mail and make sure you keep the tab open so you can actually verify. Uh, your account later on <clears throat> alright so since I already have my account set up uh, I'm going to just sign in and then sign in alright now that we have signed in now you just got to go to uh, get Jenny motion scroll down uh, get the one that's for personal use only unless you plan on uh, getting the business version but that one costs money alright <clears throat> now you want to download uh, the download that's specific for your <clears throat> operating system type uh, since I'm using Ubuntu I'm gonna click on the Linux one uh, if you have Mac or Windows, just click on those ones, and then you'll see the the links on the bottom for those for those uh, operating systems. Okay. What you want to do first is download uh, the actual installation file, and since my computer is a 64-bit machine, then I'll be downloading the 64-bit. Uh, you might use 32-bit, but if you have a newer machine, more than likely it's going to be 64-bit, since 32-bit is usually on the older machines. So we're gonna click on this and let that download but since I already have this download loaded then I'm not going to download it again I'll just jump into uh, showing you how to actually install it so what you want to do is keep note of where you installed it before and open up the terminal so control alt T <clears throat> and one moment and now just navigate to your folder where you save this file at in my case it's in the downloads folder and if you can't see it just hit ls type in the ls command and it'll show you what's in the directory it'll list what's in the directory so the bin file I have is this jennymotion 2.4.0 underscore x 64 bin uh, you might notice that <clears throat> you can't really do anything with it like you can't install it like if you click it it's gonna tell you that you uh, that it doesn't know like here I'll show you <laughs> it'll tell you that it's an unknown type and just like an application but like what you want to do is right click on this file hit properties <laughs> and once the window comes up uh, go to permissions and then click on allow executing file as program so it was already selected for me but it might not be selected for you <clears throat> once you have that go back to your your terminal and then uh, type the following uh, period uh, forward slash and then the name of the bin file the bin file so for me it's Jenny motion and if you don't want to type it just hit tab and it'll uh, auto complete for you and then press enter and it'll come up with a dialog uh, hit yes and then enter and what this is gonna do is just it's gonna extract some files into the same directory where the bin files at so right now if we navigate back to here, uh, you can see that this Jenny Motion folder is created. So what you want to do is just wait for that to finish <clears throat> extracting, and then and then I'll show you how to configure the virtual box, which you're going to need to actually run Jenny Motion in your Android Studio. <clears throat> so let's check real quick. <coughs> Alright, so as you can see, it's actually uh, completed 
extracting the files and they should all be there now. So now we're going to go back to the browser and actually download the VirtualBox. So if you want to keep this open for future reference, since we're going to be using this in a bit, you can keep this tab open and then just go to this URL, go to virtualbox.org. Uh, on the side, click on the downloads link. All right, and then here you're gonna see some uh, packages you can download depending on your operating system. Here's Windows, OS, and Linux. Since I'm using Ubuntu, again, I'm gonna click on the Linux host. <clears throat> and here's uh, two different options. Uh, depending on uh, your computer, you're gonna have to uh, figure that out. For me, mine's gonna be AMD64 since I have an AMD uh, processor. So I'll click on that, <clears throat> and since I already have this file downloaded, I'll just jump into showing you how to install that again. All right, so <clears throat> make sure uh, your terminal is open, and assuming that the download uh, directory where you downloaded this file is the same as previously, then you won't have to change anything. So what you want to do now to actually install this file. Uh, type the following command. It's sudo uh, dpkg space dash i for install and then you want to type in the name of the file. Um, the name of the file in this case, one moment, is virtualbox dash 4 whatever. Uh, if you have problems with remembering the name uh, just do the ls command before you type this in and then see what's in the directory and then <clears throat> just uh, type the, what you see on the screen uh, or you can just do what we did earlier we type in the virtual box and hit tab and it'll complete for you so I'll hit enter uh, I'll type in my password and it should begin installing it might take a little while so I don't know if you want go get some water walk around for a little bit because these installs usually take a little bit I guess while we wait for this to finish installing, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to download the Jenny Motion plugin for Android Studio. So open up your Android Studio, <clears throat> go to your file menu, sorry it might take a little while, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff running on the machine right now. Alright, All right. so go to File, go to Settings, and once this opens up, <laughs> I'll tell you the next steps. <clears throat> So you want to navigate to the plugin, plugins. Sorry. So you click on plugins, and uh, click on the browse repositories. All right. <clears throat> In my case, like initially when this came up, it actually took a little while to actually load up any of the repositories. So you might want to like give it a couple seconds. But once the repositories are loaded. All you have to type in in this search bar is Jenny Motion. As you can see here, it lists uh, different plugins uh, that it loaded from the repositories. So, as I said earlier, just type in Jenny Motion, or you can just type in Jenny and it'll bring up anything that matches that keyword. And <laughs> it's going a little slow again. Alright, now that it came up, just uh, click on Install Plugin. Uh, would you like to download and install a plugin Jenny Motion? Click yes. <clears throat> All right. Now you have to restart your Android Studio, so make sure you do that before you continue.
Alright guys, now that Android Studio is restarted, uh, you want to configure your Jenny Motion path for Android Studio. Um, so you want to go to the file menu, go to settings, uh, and then right here you'll see this other settings um, menu option and then click on Jenny Motion. Uh, in my case, Jenny Motion's already been configured before, but all you have to do is just um, find the path where you have Jenny Motion, and this is actually where uh, all the files were extracted to in the beginning when we did the terminal stuff. So uh, just go to the same directory where you had the bin uh, file, and the Jenny Motion folder should be there. And then just click on the Jenny Motion folder and click OK, and then it'll have it here. And then hit OK again. And to actually start the Jenny Motion. Uh, emulator there's an icon here in your toolbar um, if your toolbar is invisible you can go to the view uh, menu and go and click on the toolbar uh, menu option and there should be a checkbox next to it if it's visible and if it's not visible then there won't be a check uh, check mark next to it so make sure your toolbar is visible and then once it's visible uh, you click on the Jenny Motion Device Manager icon and it should have a uh, this uh, window come up and what you want to do is do a new Jenny Motion device and Jenny Motion starting up What you want to do is add a new one, so click yes. Alright, before this video gets any longer, uh, we're going to stop here and just look for the next video. Uh, the video should be included in the description and the next video is going to cover uh, how you set all this up and actually run Jenny Motion and get Android running. Uh, so alright guys, uh, see you next video, thank you and take care.